<laughs> okay, the ex fiance of the late Bobby Christina Brown has died of a suspected drug overdose on New Year's Day in Florida. Nick Gordon, who is 30, who was 30, suffered a series of heart attacks after the alleged drug overdose and later died at Altamont Springs Hospital. Mm. I think this is just a drug fueled yeah. family because it's just crazy. The if mom died, the daughter died, the fiance died, drugs, Adila children. died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I, I don't even want to put it like that because I think we have a lot of active drug users that are still very good parents mm. and are still doing. But in their case, I mean, I mean I don't to be honest, I, I don't think you can be into drugs and raise your children well because children tend to is what they see, see around yeah. them. You know, they Which feel was like the case with Bobby Christina. Exactly, actually. they yeah. feel like okay, if this is mom's way of escaping from some things, it could work for me too, and mm. all of that. This for this guy, I mean, it, it does not. Maybe this guy does not come come off as the best guy. Guy because you know is um, it was um, suspected suspected to be the and even according to the law as they said that he has an hand in his death yet yeah, yeah. yeah dead, sorry case, yeah. but it's not yet directly. and he was supposed to pay thirty million dollars which is mm, thirty six million dollars so I don't know if he actually yeah. paid that fee I'm, I'm not I sure think if he those, did that <coughs> those could Excuse have been me. those could have been the issues that also surrounded this drug overdose probably those were the issues that he was thinking about yes always no I don't think we should make excuses for drug users like I'm not the, making excuses I, I no 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 if, if no I get users. you we, I feel like. Um, yeah, you're right. Maybe not make excuses for them, mm -hmm. but you know, it's not everybody that really gets their life together. See, nobody really wants to grow up and say, okay, I want to be a drug addict, I want to be a drunkard and embarrass me and my family, but you know, because we have it together, does not mean it's everybody that can have it together. Mm -hmm. But the point is, we need to create more awareness. And in music, people should stop glorifying drugs. In movies, people should stop glorifying drugs. Because this old drug thing is already eating so well into our community, as society. Of the young, we keep using and young people lost a lot of every day. Well. Yeah, That's why I think well, yeah. artists now should take this upon themselves, to be honest, and stop glorifying drugs or whatever in their song. Mo uh, movie makers, they need to take this upon themselves too. Start acting movies that when people watch, they will know that drug has nothing to offer, not even the highness, to yeah. be honest. Mm. Okay, because so what drug would, I've always said it, what drug would do to you is ruin you, kill you, and leave everybody around you devastated, <laughs> terrible, and frustrated. At the end of of the day. Sometimes Somebody else won't even cure you. You just find out that you're alone and you've All lost right. everyone around you. You know. Okay, so I think I'll, maybe I'll be the bad first thing. I'm not making a case for drug users, mm. but I would say that one thing we need to um, take into consideration is there's an addiction problem. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For people Straight to that. overdose on drugs, there is an addiction. addiction. You are taking mm -hmm. more than you know Necessary. what you're supposed to take. When you look at the story of Whitney Houston, if you because I've watched um, a documentary that they released recently, mm. the Whitney documentary. If you look at the story of her life and you understand how she started using drugs, it was it's like in their family. It was mm. a thing. Because yes. her mom was a singer. Her family has always been in the entertainment. She has um, Diane Warwick, is her auntie. So mm. when you look at their family, you see that there's a history of mm. drug mm. abuse. Her brothers were the ones, um, for Whitney now, her brothers were the ones who introduced her to heroin, crack, and all of those things. Are it was not sure even, yes, it was, her, it was actually her brothers. Her brothers were the first people that she smoked weed with. And that was when she was a teenager. And then she moved on to her, boy, um, to her husband, and her husband, they were doing all of the crazy things, and then they had um, Bobby, and they were still using drugs, and Bobby saw a lot, a lot of crazy things, and that, those were the things that led to her being depressed and suicidal. And then there was the media that was always on her back and everything. I don't think that Nick Gordon actually had, I won't say a hand in her death. I, I don't know the story Okay, so what happened everything. is basically, I think it saw at, um, at, at the bottom drown, mm -hmm. and it, it didn't call for help immediately. I'm so mm -hmm. sure that probably they were taking drugs together. It was probably intoxicated. But so. according to him, he said that he walked in and met her like that. No, no, no. no but he, I don't, he never denied the, the fact yeah. that he saw her taking drugs. He, I nev mean, he that, never that did. They were all. They were both taking drugs were both together. Taking. And all so that. I'm saying that there has been a pre there has been a prevalence in that family of people abusing drugs because Nick was also kind of like adopted by Whitney. Yeah. He was like when a big was, brother. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. He was a big brother to Bobby. So there's a, a there's a history in their family of people using drugs, and I just want to 
say that we are entering this year again with another drug overdose death. And I hope that this year, this is not going to be the pattern. Mm. Because the past few years, in the last decade, we've seen so we've lost so many people, you know, to drug overdose. And I hope that this year there will be an active campaign. I mean, it's easy to say that people should not take drugs, which is what which is what I'm saying that I might be making a case for, you know, drug addicts. Mm. It's easy. It's very easy when you're not on that side to say, oh, don't do drugs. You're disgracing your family. You're embarrassing your family. It's not that easy. I think the best thing we can do is, like she said, let's do more movies to raise awareness about the, the ills of doing these things, of being addicted to these things, and to be more empathetic to people who are struggling with these things, and to also educate people about how you know, like, even if you want to do drugs, these are the amount of, this is the limit to no, what you do. Oh. Yes, I've said it before. <laughs> there is this no, is the limit. You shouldn't even to do what drugs. Do you know? Yeah, that's what I said. It's easy to say that you not be able to control this is the limit. limit. That means right? you're saying you you're can saying, start. Because <laughs> once I get over that limit, I say, okay, no, okay, this limit is not working mm. for me anymore. Can I try more? Just but can you, prevent, can you prevent everybody in the world from doing drugs? You can't prevent everybody in the world, but you cannot encourage them to do it. You are not encouraging, limits. you are not encouraging people. Work. It's just like saying, use condoms. Am I encouraging everybody to have premarital sex? No, but I'm saying if you must have premarital sex, then use condoms. No, that's the Well, safe. um, let's, let's come back to the story now. Now, this is a family, like you said, that has the history of drugs. Bobby yeah. Brown before he even married with Houston, a lot of people oh, were scared that mm. okay, yes. this is a cocaine addict, mm -hmm. somebody that's yes. been to rehab back. And the yes. interesting part and is that he's done with drugs now. He's a clean well, man now. Yeah, and he, was, he was able to break out to of break it. Out of well, it. it. For it everybody around he him says. that got involved, that's, that's what it says, dead, right? Yeah. We can't be so sure if he's actually clean. Well, let's be, let's be, actually yeah, and then, I think you it's know clean. You look at his lifestyle now, he looks like Yeah, you know the different conspiracy theories that they said with Houston is on death is mother and not drug over that yeah they found yeah. drugs but you know her id card was missing her credit cards were missing i think and, those are just conspiracy theories yeah so i'm just saying and then um we found christina as well yeah, she was we, dead. it was very very sad it, it's just like a, a, a dealer, cycle um, uh, what's her name um bobby christina's dealer mm -hmm. yeah. died of the one that found uh, her yeah. and mm -hmm. all that and now this guy is also it's gone somebody so that's like, associated with the family so that's what i'm saying yeah. that there's a drug Problem. When I saw when I saw it, yeah, I'm, I'm in my mind. I'm thinking that maybe there is more to this, and the drug thing is just a cover up to everything that is happening. Because honestly, let's take a look at it. it I mean, there are other people that do drugs, and they are old, yeah, and they are not dead. It can't yeah. be just one particular family that everybody in that family mm. doing drug is dying. It's just weird in a way. Yeah, well. it's